Hello YouTube, it's I'm Millennium here with a Minecraft mod showcase. Today we're going to be showcasing the Pixelmon mod. In case you can't tell by the title, it deals with Pokemon. So what you're going to want to do is create, a, well what I'm going to do is create a new world just to show you a little bit about the mod. By the way, I will be leaving a link in the description to download the mod. Loading world, building terrain. Okay, so whenever you start the mod, you're going to see a screen. And it has the original starters, Squirtle, Bulbasaur, and Charmander. And for some reason, they have Eevee, even though I don't remember him being a starter. And the original 151 Pokemon. So, gonna going to just let the chunks load up a little bit. Maybe decrease some of that lag. It'll help. Alright. So, the cool thing about this mod is... You can like, it's basically Pokemon. As you can see, my Eevee here. Eevee! The blue bars for experience, the green ones for health. And you can have battles with other Pokemon, like Selector Buzz. It's like Pokemon how they just randomly try to battle you. And I don't know why he he just killed my Eevee. Wow. Wow. What is this? I don't remember this Pokemon, I don't think. Oh, a Tauros. Alright, so I'm gonna change my game mode. Get some items to show you around about them. This is Electra Buzz and like get out my face. It's kind of annoying. Alright. Game mode. Wow, I forgot I was already in creative mode. So, some of the things it adds to this game adds like a whole bunch of Pokemon to hold the badges. Not sure, I haven't seen any gems on my uh, single player world yet. Uh, there's a lot of Pokeballs, I'm going to show you how to make some of them later. Some potions, rare candy to level them up sometimes. And they have, it says TMs and HMs, but all I see is TMs. In case you don't know what these are, if, even if you played Pokemon or haven't, you give these to a Pokemon and it like whatever the move is, it helps them learn it. It also adds... N Three new ores. Um, yeah, three new ores. Whoa, wait. One, two. Whoa. Adds five new ores. I'm sorry about that. And then adds apricorns to help making Pokemon. I don't. Uh, mossy rock, icy rock. These are used to evolve your Eevee into Leafeon or Glaceon. They have fossils, just like in. I think it was Fire Red Day and introduced fossils to the gamers. They have. These um things you hold your Pokemon like an Everstone, it stops them from evolving an XP share. It like if, even if you don't use your Pokemon in battle, it still gives all your Pokemon next a little bit of XP if you win the battle. All right, so I'm gonna bring out the PC. Well, I didn't mean to do that. The PC, the healer, the fossil machine, uh, the Fossil cleaner. I'm not pretty sure how to use this, but I mean, I guess I can figure it out. An anvil and a trade machine. Well, I'm not gonna need that because you can't trade with anybody. Oh yeah. Also, this mod adds these new things: hammers used in creating a pokeball. It adds a pokedex. Adds a new ore, well, mineral aluminum. You can use it for tools and gear. I'm not sure about how strong it is. I think it's just a little bit stronger than gold. I'm not sure. See, it has aluminum plates and all that. Alright, so. Since my Eevee died. Wow, he's like still in my face. It's like getting really annoying. And I don't know why he was trying to follow me. Alright, so I'm going to go over here. Alright, so. Oh, wow, that's the PC. But yeah, the PC. It's just like Pokemon. You can put your Pokemon in and out of it. And if you click this, it tells you like about the Pokemon that you're holding. If you drag the Pokemon to this, it like deletes them. And the PC, it's just like the Poke Center on Pokemon. You put your Pokemon in it, and it heals them. See, now my EV is back to health. Alright, now for this fossil machine. 
insert fossil fossil cleaner what is this oh yeah an anvil all right so i'm gonna free up some of my inventory get a fossil out so i can show you how to use these and basically learn how to use them myself uh where were they yeah here they go uh area dactyl that's the only one i remember <laughs> Oh, I see what this does is. You put the covered fossil in there, and it cleans it. And then once it cleans it, you get one of, like the uncleaned fossil. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Wow, I guess you're supposed to leave it in there for a while or whatever. All right, so yeah, you insert the fossil and this percent bar this is working i don't know why it has the sounds of the nether i really don't but yeah as the pokedex you just right click tells you all about the pokemon these are here because i have in creative mode if you're in survival you won't see as many pokemon unless you like like yeah they'll look like this until you find them then they'll look like this oh yeah it, and you can search by typing a Pokemon's name and it'll pop up. That's really all for the Pokedex. Uh, Alright, now on to making Pokeballs. Oh, wait, I forgot to talk about the ores. The Waterstone, Leafstone, and Thunderstone. Where did that go? Wow. Just like lost it. Here it is, leaf stone. And I'm gonna need, and I'm gonna use an aluminum pickaxe. Wow, they actually called it a spade instead of a shovel. It's twenty percent. Hopefully, it'll be done by the time I get done showing you guys this. I'm gonna just go into survival real quick. All right, so bauxite. It's this. I don't know why it's called bauxite, but once you mine it, it's like. Oh uh, wow, hold on. Forgot a furnace. Alright, a furnace. Some coal, coal, coal. Ah, charcoal. Alright, so I'm gonna set this furnace down. Put some charcoal in it. Go back to survival. Alright, so yeah, once you mine it, you just put in here, smelt it like iron. Uh, and firestone, waterstone, the leafstone. You find this like in trees randomly. Waterstone. I'm not pretty sure if I remember where. The thunderstone. You find it just like bauxite, but it's like basically in uh, like cave mines, kinda. Firestone's at the top of like lava roofs and that, or like around lava you would find it. But yeah, you just mine leafstone, you get this leafstone shard. I'm gonna show you what to do with those in a minute. You mine firestone, you get a firestone shard. Again with the water and again with the thunderstone. Now if this is done yeah, see it's just like an aluminum ingot. Just like an iron ingot. Alright, now for as far as these shards go, I'm gonna show you what happens if you get a whole bunch of them. Get a crafting table. Go to this. Get about eight more. I'm only gonna test it with one because it works basically the same way for all of them. So you just get nine shards, meaning as in mine, nine of the blocks that I showed you. And you got thunderstone. I'm just gonna be using thunderstone because Jolteon's personally my favorite. And here we go. There we go, Jolteon. Jolteon! Alright, now, for, um, as far as Leafeon and Glaceon go, uh, yeah, hold on. Gonna have to get the, the icy rock. Uh, Leafeon, Glaceon, Leafy, uh, yeah, I'll go Leafeon. 
Alright, so, oh yeah, and the cool thing about this mod is you can spawn any Pokemon by typing slash Pokespawn. Then the uh, form of the Poke- well, the name of the Pokemon, my bad. Ah, uh, where's this Eevee at? Oh, the fossil thing's done. Oh, uh, I forgot to get a Pokeball. I'm gonna use a Master Ball just for time's sake. Where did he go? Wow, he's trying to run. Stop running, Eevee. Wow, he ran. Oh my god, I hope I didn't just catch a random Pokemon. There we go, grab him. <laughs> Took a while, but I got him. Wow, this sound is like killing me. All this music. Gotta turn it down to about 10. Just put this down and it's like you'd find these in like forest and ice rock you'd find them like the tundra so yeah then you're gonna have to level up your eevee within 10 blocks of each of these oh yeah you switch pokemon by using the brackets but you can change it whatever you want in your settings so yeah you have to level up your eevee and within 10 blocks of this and there leafy on and vice versa Glaceon. with um yeah vice versa with glaceon all right now to see what about this fossil machine Let's insert pokeball oh wow that's really like neat Ow. Ow. yeah some pokemon are mountable so yeah you can fly around not gonna go too far I don't want to start lagging again and in case you don't want to call the Pokemon back you can always just I mean in case you don't want to have to land to dismount you can always just recall the Pokemon but then again you probably die since you're in survival not gonna worry too much about that oh it this thing I finally cleaned the fossil don't really like need it anymore but hey why not all right, so I'm gonna clear my inventory. Show you how to make Rousey. Pokeballs before I'm done. All right, so first you're gonna need to make the iron bases, which is you're gonna Rousey. need three pieces of iron. Uh, uh, yeah, my bad. Then you wanna go to a crafting table, and it's like craft. I'm pretty sure it's yeah, you just straight line. And you get these things called iron discs. And then after that, I'm just gonna grab a hammer. Oh my god, these Pokemon. Then you're just gonna right click it. Oh, uh, and you just so you know, you can't break the anvil so you don't have to worry. Then you're just gonna left click it until it like molds down like that. Then you're gonna right click it again. Then you pick it up and you have an iron base. Rousey. Oh my god. Then, after that, you're gonna need to get these. Drowsy. You're gonna have to get these apricorn, these apricorns. Drowsy. Oh my. Then, you're gonna take some bone meal and see if this Drowsy. works. Then, you're just going to plant the Drowsy. apricorn. Well, you're not gonna be planting it, but yeah, you're just gonna find it. Then you're just gonna grow it. You're gonna see these spawn. And you'll pick up the apricorn. Rousey. Then I'm just gonna do this real quick so I can get three. Then you're gonna go over to um furnace. You're gonna have to cook these, so I'm gonna go back into Wow. Uh it's getting like annoying. I hate these Pokemon sounds. By the way, these are from the Pokemon the resources. So I'm gonna be leaving. Well, on the download link, you'll find them too. But yeah, you get the point. You're gonna sm have to smelt these, and then once you smelt them, you'll get these cooked apricorns. And you're gonna have to 
Hold on, I'm going to pause this. I'll be back in a second getting a phone call. Alright, sorry about that, guys. I'm back. So, yeah. You're going to want to cook the apricorns. Then once you cook them, go into a crafting table. Then you just put them in a line again. You get the pokeball discs. Then after that, you want to go back to your anvil. Right-click it. And place it on there. And the same deal as with the iron bases. Grousy. Then after that. Oh yeah, to make a Pokeball. You're also going to need a button. A button. My bad. And then. After that, you go to your crafting table. Place the Pokeball disc there. The iron base Grousy. there. And the button in the middle. Wow, I just. Uh, place the lid on the top. And the iron base on the bottom, and you'll get a Pokeball. And then you use the Pokeball to catch Pokemon, such such as there. Then after a while, either you catch it after after waiting, you either catch it or it breaks out, as you can see. I'm gonna try and catch this drowsy so it can shut up. Drowsy. While that's waiting, I'm going to show you how to craft an anvil. I would show you how to craft a PC or a healer, but I'm not familiar. I don't really know the crafting speech for those by heart. Grousy. Alright, so you're going to want to go to your crafting table. And you're going to have to make it like this. And you'll get an anvil. Wow. I'm mean, like sick of these. It's kind of cool how it has the user interfaces as, like in the Pokemon games. You can capture from here. You can heal your Pokemon in that. You can switch Pokemon out. You can like run. Oh, wow, you can my Pokemon again. That's Grousy. not Grousy. Oh God. Please let me run from this battle. Rapion. I Rapion. think we just. Grousy. The how? How did like four Rapion. of my Pokemon just come out? Grousy. And Drowsy was already out, and he's not dead. How? I don't Rapion. remember switching Pokemon. Grousy. Leafy on die too. Grousy. I'm just gonna keep trying to run. Rapion. See what happens. Grousy. Uh, oh, oh. He killed my hair. Grousy. 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 What the heck? Rapion. How? Grousy. Oh, wow. Kind of a bug. Kind Grousy. of a bug. I, I don't have an uh Rampion. Uh this this is Grousy. This is like Rampion. really annoying. He just keeps on killing my Grousy. Pokemon. I can't like I can't do anything about it. Pokemon are too weak to battle. Rampion. Grousy. Uh Grousy. Grousy. It's annoying. It's like random Pokemon just can't control to fight you. Gay Rhyhorn. Gay. He just like fought my Leafy on a while. Uh, I, he didn't even. Uh, I didn't even battle him. And he just killed my Leafy on. That's. Wow. Just wow. I mean, save that screenshot. All right, well, this isn't a mod. This is my first mod review. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Leave in the comments if I should do more. Leave some mods you might want me to review. Oh yeah, I f almost forgot. Yeah, this mod is also gonna require Minecraft Forge. So if you don't know what that is, look it up, download it. And you're also going to have, this mod is only on, so far it's on, updated the most as 1.5.2. I'm um, pretty sure. 
I am kind of late, so I just checked the website a couple days ago. It appears as if they're updating it for 1.6, but they're having some issues. So if you want to downgrade, you can just wait until probably about a week or two to actually update it. Well, that's it, guys.